Power 96.1, it's Maddox live in studio with the one and only Janelle Monet. Give it up for Janelle, everybody. Hey, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, Ad- Atlanta resident, uh, how's, how yes. was the traffic today? Not too bad? It wasn't too bad. Not too um, bad. Yeah, I love being here. I'm only here for one day this week, and then I'm headed to New York. Wow. Um, yeah, so it just feels good to just jump in and out of this this energy. I love Atlanta. So, so I mean, how often are you, like, actually getting to... Like, be where you live. I mean, it's got to be, like, the schedule's got to be crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, living is relative. <laughs> um, I, 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 right now, I'm on um, Dirty Computer promo, which I'm excited about. I tell New people, album. It's amazing, by the way. Thank you. Love thank it, you love for it, love listening. It. Um, so, uh, we actually, it's a funny thing, because you did a showcase with Atlantic here in, in Atlanta. I was there. Um, and uh, it was for Make Me Feel. And you came out, performed the song, and... Man, it was just like so much energy. It was just amazing. I loved it. And I got to tell you, the, the album is really good. And where did you learn how to dance? Because, man, like you just can't, you got the moves. <laughs> my grandmother. Really? Yeah, my grandma could dance her butt off. I don't think I can dance as better, as, as, as great as she is. But it's just her fearlessness, her freedom. My mom has it, too. I just try to stay free. I don't think I'm the best dan- dancer. I just try to be free and, and, and not... Um, you know, limit myself to to where my body can go and what it can do at any given point. Man, I I love it. Well, you're definitely a much better dancer than I am. That is <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah. So you got the new album out, uh, Dirty Computer, dropped on April 27th. How how exciting is that? I mean, you got to be just loving it. Yeah, it's a blessing. I'm really thankful uh, to just be creating art, creating music, um, having celebratory songs that uplift. Uh, at the same time, you know introspective songs that really help me to feel like, you know, as an artist um, that I'm releasing, I'm unpacking all the things that live in my mind and in my heart. Uh, so it just feels like a great time to be uh, an artist and to be contributing to the music world. Definitely. And just in being expressive and doing it in your, in your own way, which is really yeah. good. Um, speaking of, of the album, like this is your third album, correct? It seems like my first because I knew knew that I was going to do this album before I did my first album, The Arc Android. Oh, really? Yes. So this has been in the works for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so has it been like a creative process as far as like writing and just everything else this this whole time or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, With this project, um, what I wanted to do was release what I like to call an emotion picture. Some people will call it like a short film, you know, narrative driven or a visual album, but it's an emotion picture because it starts with me. It starts with my emotions, and it, it's meant to complement the album. So it's 48 minutes of of content, of of, of visuals, of of story um, that I really worked hard on and worked with a great team of people and creatives to make happen. So I, I knew that I just didn't want to release an album. It needed to be done in a particular way. Yeah. So, and that speaking of uh, that that short film that you're talking about, that was actually aired in, uh, in theaters, right? It was like a preview before. Well, the trailer uh, went on in select theaters before Black Panther, Black which Panther. is my favorite movie of this year. Oh, such a good movie! Um, that was amazing. Yeah, it was incredible, and um, it's just great. Just speaking of Black Panther, they shot a lot of their, um, they filmed a lot here in Atlanta, and while I was making Dirty Computer. They would come over and we would have jam sessions. We would sing, dance, eat, cook. And they heard a lot of the music before it was released. Oh, that's so it was awesome. just great to kind of get that encouragement and that love from my friends like Lupita and Chadwick and and um, Daniel and, and, and just everyone because I'm such a big fan of that film. And it's just, it's kicking ass still. That's awesome. I love it. Well, the album is 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 amazing. And just hearing that, like you said, from your friends and stuff like that, it's got to be like just... The, oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to be the that, Atlanta, that Atlanta pollen. Oof. Ooh, that pollen is out of Brutal. control here. <laughs> and I don't look forward to seeing that when I come back. No, I, I, I agree. <laughs> I, I want to like put on a hazmat suit when I uh, have to deal with this pollen. Um, you're going to be at uh, our iHeartRadio uh, Wango Tango by AT&T yes, performing. Yes, sir. That's yes, pretty sir. exciting. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to just give an experience. Take people places. And the, take people places. I like that. And you're going to be uh, actually kicking off your tour shortly after that? Yeah, uh, June 10th, I want to say. Which a lot of the stops are sold out. So if you want to go, you should definitely grab those yes, tickets. Get your tickets, jmonae.com, J-M-O-N-A-E. And I'm here in Atlanta, August 
fourth and fifth. But unfortunately, I think those shows are sold out. Sold out. So I just want you to know, Atlanta, I'm working on getting a third show. Because oh, this wow. is where it started. This is where it all started. Ground zero. I love it. That's yeah. amazing. And so, yeah, like a lot, I was checking your website, which is a really cool design, by the way. Thank you. Is that a new design? Yeah, it's a new design. I, I love it. It's, it's like so I really futuristic. Like it too. It's cool. Futuristic like I, looking. I, I like it. I'm thankful for the people that helped put it together. Um, so if you want to grab tickets to her show, there's a lot of the dates are, again, sold out. But uh, she's working on adding a third show, so you might want to grab those yep. tickets. So since you live here in Atlanta, like, what's your favorite thing to do locally in the ATL when you can eat make food, it here? Eat food. I just went We went to uh, Negril, um, which is like a um, Jamaican uh, incredible spot. So I would go there. It's so authentic and just really, really good. Oh, that sounds um, amazing. What else do I like to do? I'm usually in a very creative space when I come to Atlanta. So I'm at a place that we call Wonderland where we write and record all the music and come up with all the concepts and ideas. I wrote all my albums here in Atlanta uh, the wow. majority of time. So I spent a lot of time there. Um, sometimes I might go to the strip club, <laughs> you know, every now and again, just to kind of decompress. But I love Atlanta. I mean, people are creating more movies here. Um, so there's a lot more work. We shot Hidden Figures, a film that I was in that I was proud to be a part of. Amazing, in by the way. I saw, I saw that. I didn't know that was a real story. I, I like you said, like when you were going over the script, right? You didn't know that was an actual like no thing of events that happened. I had no idea growing up that you know these women, these African American women in particular, were directly responsible for getting our American astronauts into space. I mean, if they were off by one decimal, it was John Glenn would not have made it to space. So, um, you know, this was in se the segregation era. When you know it, w it was not a, a welcoming and warm, loving invite for for African Americans to be working at these places, but yet we were still helping get their men, you know, um, get our American heroes into into space. But these are the American heroes um, that I want to celebrate, and and I was happy to be a part of that film. That's a great film. I I, I loved it. So um, I mean, you're in it all. You're into fashion, music, film. If you had to pick one thing to do for the rest of your life, one of those three. Oh, my goodness. I know. Really? That's, a tough, that's a tough question. If you had to pick one of those three to do for the rest of your life, what would it be? None. I would want to be, for the rest of my life, I would want to be um, a charitable person, meaning like giving without expectation. You know, that's how I would want to that's... live the rest of my life, being able to have gotten so much that I'm able to give back and be okay and... You know, I think about those who have come before me who've made great sacrifices. And um, I just think that's just the beauty when you're able to just give without expectation. Give because, you know, you love to give and it comes from a genuine place. So that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. You're like the nicest person ever. I love this. Sometimes. I, no, oh. Today you caught me on a good day. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Janelle, thank you so much for stopping by and speaking with us. The new album, uh, Dirty Computer, is out now. Yes. Everybody should go pick it up and thank grab you. tickets to the Dirty Computer Tour. Yes, sir. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank Power you. Power 961. Appreciate it. Peace.